Hey YouTube, Brian LCS. Thanks for stopping by the channel. In this video, a little Spider-Man mystery box. We've got two to get into. So stay tuned to find out what's inside. Uh, what's in the box? Uh Hey YouTube, Brian LCS, welcome back. Uh, we had a little bit of a mix up with the video. Uh, I guess I didn't hit record when I opened up the boxes. So I'm a uh, different shirt, different day, but we're still, <laughs> we still got a great stack of Spider-Man books. Now these were two mystery blind bags that were picked up from Jimmy Jam's garage sale. Uh, and here is this information on Instagram. Definitely go check them out. I have purchased from him before. Uh, and a number of the members in the community have. He does blind bags, he does mystery boxes, he does um, a comic book draft where you get to pick which books you want uh, to kind of build a mystery box. So does a bunch of different things. Go check him out. Um, I think he's in the middle of a move right now, so he may be offline for a little while, not you know posting, but definitely give him a follow and check him out. Definitely worth it. So these were two $20 blind bags shipped, so $40 for this stack of books, all Spider-Man themed. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look, we'll leave the values and then see how I did. So uh, up first we have Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, this is 505. We have Spider-Man 558. Now most of these are uh, books that I don't have, ASM 609. So I think this is considered a volume two. Uh, ASM ran volume one was from like issue one to four or something. And then Marvel started getting crazy with uh, with Spider-Man. So this is uh, ASM 629, sorry, 627. We've got 628. 674. And then now these books, uh, again, Amazing Spider-Man, but now this is volume five. This was the uh, Nick uh, Spencer run that was not well received. That's issue 26 and 27. Now we get into some Spider-Man. This was the standalone Todd McFarlane series. Issue number 11, got a little Wolverine Wendigo on the cover. Got issue 30, issue 31. And now we've got some other random Spider-Man books. So this is Spider-Man Spider -Man Saga, number four. We've got Spidey, number three. This was another standalone series. Uh, I think maybe 12 issues, 15 issues, something like that. Spider-Man Velocity, this is the Gamerverse uh, issue number two. I believe this came out when the original Spider-Man um, Marvel PlayStation 4 game came out. World War Hulks, number two of two. Spidey on the cover. Ultra Force Spider-Man 1B. That smells of 90s goodness right there. <laughs> We've got the Mighty Thor 448 featuring the Amazing Spider-Man. We've got the Amazing Spider-Man learning to crawl. Uh, this looks like an Alex Ross cover to me. We've got Ty Typhoid Fever Spider-Man. Pretty good looking cover. Number one, uh, not something I'm familiar with. This actually looks like a relatively new book. It's a $4.99 price tag, so probably out in the last couple of years. We've got Marvel Age 137 from June of 1994. Got a little Spidey, Shocker, Venom on the cover. Backstage at the Spider-Man animated series. I don't think I've seen that one before. And then last but not least, Spider-Man Quality of Life, one of four. We've got the Gecko, uh, if you need some car insurance on that cover. No, no, I think that, I guess that is supposed to be Lizard. A, rep a, a different representation of the Lizard. 
Dr. Connors there. So pretty cool. So those are the books. Uh, nice stack of Spider-Man books. A number of them will be PC keepers for sure. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, total value of these books. Uh, we'll see how I did. Let me know down in the comments which of these books was your favorite. How did I do on value? Was this worth uh, 40 bucks uh, to pick up this stack of books? So let me know and go give Jimmy Jam a follow on, uh, on IG. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.